Alright then, today my video will focus solely on the reviewing of stones. My favourite stones as a matter of fact. For example, I will pull out my first sample. This stone, it has a red colour. It is very beautiful, very red. This stone is quite sharp. The most beautiful stone of them all, I am willing to say. Another stone I'll be reviewing is this stone. This stone is green in colour with white specks. These white specks are, are used to ward off predators that might try to eat this stone, as the stone must survive for as long as possible. This stone was harvested from the great wilderness of my front garden. The next stone I will be reviewing is this stone. This stone clearly was once round, but it has broken into most likely thirds. This is proof of a very powerful predator, the Stone Snatcher, also known as the Common House Dog. Alright then, the next stone I'll be reviewing is this one. This stone is a piece of flint. Flint is known for being flinty and for inspiring the flint stones to develop their futuristic culture of the Stone Age lands. The stone is very good for sharpening and brilliant for all other functions. The next stone I'll be reviewing is this stone that I have right here. The common piece of slate. This is a very thick piece of slate. It is very layered, which means it came from the gods up above. This layered stone is very useful for making roofs and for killing opossums. You see what I mean? Very useful. Alright then. I'm coming towards the end of... Stupid bird. I'm coming towards the end of my review, but I still have some more important rocks. Like this one. This rock is black. This is because it's actually a piece of tarmac. Very useful rock. Very useful indeed. When I say rock, I mean stone. Alright then, those are all of your common house rocks. Now we'll be moving on to the elite rocks. Like, for example, this is the example, the muddy rock. The rock is very dirty, as it has spent much time in the top soil. So it has been stood on, it has been muddied, it is completely and utterly spectacular. I just had the most spectacular find. I just found the faux muddy rock. It is a rock that pretends to be muddy by looking muddy. However, this rock is completely clean because they grow on trees and then they fall down onto unsuspecting victims. These trees are called rock trees, very dangerous trees, that if you walk underneath them, you might just have one of these rocks fall on your head and kill you. So you should be very careful around these trees. I hope I didn't hit anyone. Lastly, and probably leastly, we have the common house rocks. These rocks are the kinds of rocks that you'll find growing in the dark, dingy parts of your house. They might, you might find them growing in your wardrobe, under your floorboards, or even worse, in your socks. Well, I'll be showing you those in a minute, but first, an advert break. Were you involved in an accident that wasn't your fault? If so, call Accident That Wasn't My Fault Helpline where we will show you how to spend your money less wisely. Ha 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 Yes, accidents. They come in all shapes and sizes. Thank you for watching the advert break. Now we will move on to the house rocks. Hmm, yes. There seems a bit of amethyst growing parasitically on my floor. Yeah. 
very parasitic. These rocks, terrible things. And some carnelian appears to have formed on my radiator. Oh, what's this? Oh, right. It's citrine. I should have known I'd see something like this in this dank corner. Ew, disgusting. 